Hello, and welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. We all know how exercise can help you lose weight and reduce risk of developing chronic diseases, but could working out also improve the health of your brain and actually make you smarter? Joining me now is Dr. Wendy Suzuki, a neuroscientist and professor at New York University and author of Healthy Brain, Happy Life. Thank you for coming. All right, this is a new angle because we know exercise, yeah, it's good for your cardiovascular system, blood pressure, losing weight and all that, but you yeah. say that it's good for your brain. Yeah. Tell me about that. So one of the big messages of my book is that exercise has profound effects on your brain, your brain health. What does it do? It helps parts of the brain important for attention, for memory, and for mood. And it does this by doing things like changing the anatomical structure of the brain. It actually increases the size of some of these areas. It changes the physiological responses. It enhances the physiological responses of these areas, and it improves the function. Now, you conducted a study with your students at NYU. Tell me about that, because that's very interesting what you did. Yeah, so um, at first I just wanted to do a class teaching them about all of the neurobiological effects of exercise on the brain, which I describe in my book. Um, but I wanted to bring exercise into the classroom and have them experience it. So I actually went out and got certified as a group fitness instructor. Right. And each class was one hour of me teaching them aerobic exercise, followed by an hour and a half lecture discussion, talking about, telling them about what exercise was doing to their brain. But in addition, I also tested them at the beginning and the end of the, um, of the course um, on tests of memory, memory encoding. How are you able to bring new things into your memory? What we found is that just once a week of increased aerobic exercise from this class improved their reaction times to correct responses on this task. So it was a small, it was a subtle improvement, but it was just once a week. And it was really exciting that you can see these changes in healthy, young, smart NYU undergraduates. Does the uh, brain improvement could that also uh, help at any age if yes. you start exercising? Do you see that expansion, those yes. cell growth, those chemical reactions yeah. that you're talking about? That's a great point. And in fact, one of the main messages of my book is that you don't have to be a triathlete to, um, to get the benefits of exercise on your brain. You can start small and um, even if you don't exercise at all change it a little bit no matter what age you are no matter what health status you are um, mm -hmm. you can uh, get um, you can get these benefits of exercise now you, you mentioned aerobic exercises yeah. so uh, give me like some examples of the exercises that you're talking about yeah well the exercise that I teach is a, a, a class called intensati and it's like an aerobics class we take physical movements from kickboxing and dance and yoga and martial arts and pair them with positive Positive spoken affirmations but what we know is that aerobic exercise things that make your heart rate go up those are the things that have these brain benefits we have to do a better job for mental health for brain health right to deal with stress yes talk to me about that so stress we know has very detrimental effects on the brain it actually makes certain brain areas smaller people that that um, have chronic stress have smaller parts of the brain that are important for memory. That part of the brain is called the hippocampus. So you can ask, well, how do I protect my brain from that? And the answer is exercise. We know that exercise, if you put animals on exercise, you can help protect their brains from lots of stress that you can get them. But not only that, if, exercise, if animals are already stressed and you put them on an exercise program, you can, you can um, um, regrow these brain areas that are being attacked by stress hormones in the bloodstream. Aside from exercise, you also believe that we should exercise our brain. Yes. Uh, give me a couple of qu quick tips. I mean, what, what are you talking about there? So uh, I talk about in the book, um, uh, I give brain hacks, which are quick things that you can do to enhance various kinds of brain function. One of my favorites is creativity. There are two different ways that you can enhance your creativity. And another big message is anybody can become more creative. You can practice just like you practice tennis or, or golf. And there are two ways to practice creativity. One is take the things you do the same way over and over and over and try and do them a different way. Try and walk your dog a different way. Try and ask your spouse how their day was in a different way. And the second category is try completely new things. If you don't sing, try and sing. If you don't play an instrument, give it a try. Um, if you don't read the business section, read the business section. So all of these things can help um, basically build new pathways in the brain. And, and that applies also to memory. 
Absolutely, absolutely. Well, practice your memory. We know that the three main things that help your memory are repetition, um, association, uh, associating it with lots of other things that you know, and emotional resonance. Those are things that we know help your memory, and you can use those tips as well to remember the things that you want to remember. Everything here is based on science. Yes. And, and, and it's truly important because we're living longer. Our brain is an important organ, of course, and uh, it needs to be taken care of. Absolutely. Uh, where can people get more information? You can go to my website, my book website, wendysuzuki.com, and um, all the information about the book is there. And the book is available everywhere? Everywhere. All right. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming. Great information. Thank you. And if you have any health questions, send them here at fox at drmanny.foxnews.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.